Welcome back, everybody, and thank you all for tuning in. My name is Nigel Schroeder, and I want to thank you all for being a part of this channel and being a part of this family. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family if you're not yet a part of the family. On this channel, we talk about all things finance and bettering yourself so that you can take your life to the next level. Today, I'm going to be answering some subscriber questions, um, specifically today um, about Navy Federal Credit Union. And so in answering these questions, I wanted to make sure that I'm able to get these answers out to the masses and to those of you who may want the answers to these quest questions, but may have not asked them or may have not seen me answer them in previous comments um, because there's so many of us that I want to just make sure that we're all able to get the same information. So let's get started. Question number one is do installment loans such as the pledge loan, self, credit strong, affect your credit utilization? And I think that this is something that um, you know, I've, I've talked about this before, but I think this is something that can be extremely confusing for a lot of us because remember you have UTI, which is credit utilization. And then you have DTI, which is debt to income ratio. All right. And since they're so close, um, sometimes, especially if you're newer, um, to the finance realm, these terms can be easily, um, misconstrued. So UTI is utilization. It can only be affected by revolving credit products. So only credit cards, um, lines of credit, things like that, that are going to revolve a balance, um, are going to have UTI, which is utilization. Loan products will not have UTI. However, they will affect your DTI, which is debt to income ratio. They will affect how much debt you have in comparison to how much money you make. And, um, of course, by them having a balance, the higher the balance, the more they're going to affect that. Um, and then when you're applying for certain larger loans, uh, such as mortgage financing, regardless as to how far down the loan is paid, they do it monthly for mortgage balances. So if you still owe anything on that loan, they have to take the full monthly payment, even if you owe less than the monthly payment. And that would be your DTI, your debt to income ratio. All right. And the next question that we're going to be answering um, in this video is, does more money, which um, would be like an, a security deposit, a larger security deposit or a longer term, more time, increase your credit score more when you get a pledge loan. All right. So the thing about this is a pledge loan, um, as far as the money amount, the dollar amount really does not necessarily affect your credit score directly. Um, what it will affect is when you go to other lenders, um, they'll see how much money, um, you've put out, before as a security deposit and therefore they'd be more willing to lend to you because they'd see that you um, could potentially have those funds or get those funds to pay them back. Um, so that's the benefit of larger security deposits is in the future you can get larger loans or larger limits. Now on the side of terms, it really depends on what you're looking to build your credit for and how much time you have. And I always tell people to choose your terms accordingly. If you know that you're planning on purchasing a house in six months to a year, then you may want to go with a shorter six month to a year term so that it's not going to affect your debt to income ratio. However, if you have a large enough amount of income where it won't affect you for getting those types of approvals, or if you're not planning on making any of those types of purchases um, anywhere in the near future, then you may want to go for some of the more extended term um, loans. Whereas if you go out five years, you can potentially look at the opportunities to have loan products that will um, offer you a little bit more. They could potentially 
offer you um, more credit aid um, depending on how long you space out that term. And that's going to, of course, build more you build your score more because you're going to have a loan product open for longer. So with that being said, as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.